When it comes to Siyam, when it comes to fasting Ramadan, Imam bin Hajar rahimahullah ta'ala mentions that the sign of an accepted Ramadan has a component of it that is a feeling and a component of it that has a very observable impact in terms of your deeds. So when it comes to the feeling, the one who is pleased with the departure of Ramadan and the one who is distressed with its coming forward, that is a sign of a Ramadan that is not accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That if one Ramadan leaves, you are not sad over its departure. And when it comes, it makes you sad. You are sad of its arrival. That is a sign that you are refusing the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are not allowing Ramadan to penetrate your heart whatsoever. So that is the person whose fasting only is abandoning their food and drink for a month as an exercise. But spiritually speaking, there's no penetration. So that's the feeling of Ramadan. As for the effect, it's the consistency of your deeds after Ramadan. So there is a feeling and there is an impact, an observable impact. Did I quit the sins that I brought to me before Ramadan? And then did I increase in my good deeds or not? Right? The prize of this month is Laylatul Qadr. But the Prophet ﷺ never abandoned the masjid after the 23rd night or the 25th night and said, it looked like it was last night. So now I want to come see you all next year. It didn't happen. But he was asked this question, when is Laylatul Qadr? And he said, when the Qadr of Allah is greater in your heart. Laylatul Qadr, it is the night of power, it is the night of decree. It has so many rich meanings. But when the estimation of Allah has grown in your heart, then that is a sign that you have observed and caught Laylatul Qadr. Now let's talk about that for a moment, bidnillahi ta'ala. There are three things that the ulama mentioned in terms of understanding, having a greater Qadr of Allah in your heart, a greater estimation of Allah in your heart. Three of them. Number one, Allah is worth a greater sacrifice. as salatu khayru min an I was tired. I'm sleep deprived. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Allah is worth the pain of sin. The second thing that the ulama mentioned is that Allah is worth a greater share. What does that mean? A greater share of your wasail, your means to reach Him. It starts off with the faculties that Allah has given you of hearing. Allah is worth a greater portion of what I listen to. Allah is worth a greater portion of what I look at. Allah is worth a greater portion of my thoughts, of my contemplation, my fu'ad, what occupies my heart. Allah is worth a greater portion of my time because time is a means to reach Allah. Allah is worth a greater portion of my wealth. What you have disappears, but what is, what is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remains forever. It's worth more of my wealth. And the last thing, a greater hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What do you want from Allah? You know, when someone makes dua to Allah and there is a doubt, can he really answer me? You didn't give Allah his due estimation. Am I going to really realize like his Jannah and what Allah is promising? Is it really going to be there and is it really going to be all worth it? You didn't give Allah his due estimation. When a person seeks forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they say, I don't know if Allah is going to forgive me or not. You know, I have some really big sins that I've committed. You're not giving Allah his due credit. All of that means a greater hope in Allah, increasing your hope in Allah. When you diminish your hope in Allah, what you are really doing is you are suggesting a deficiency on His part subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no deficiency. And so dear brothers and sisters, with Laylatul Qadr in particular, if Allah increases the estimation, the Qadr of Allah, the power of Allah in our hearts, the share of Allah in our hearts, that is a sign of an accepted Laylatul Qadr.